Famous science fiction writer Arthur Clarke once said that any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Indeed, most of the stuff we know from science may be considered as witchcraft by the average middle-aged peasant. Here are 10 amazing real-life science magic tricks that play on our expectations of how the world works. Amazing! Number 10. Melting Metal Using Magnetic Fields Magnets have been the go-to science party trick for a long time. If you want something a bit more hardcore than just moving things from a distance, yet still fundamentally simple, then you've just gotta melt that metal, baby. Behold, as this piece of metal floats, suspended in air, within a coiled magnet. Soon enough, it takes on a dangerous glow, shaking around as it gets even hotter, before finally splatting down the apparatus as a melted mess. What you have just witnessed is an application of the bio summit law in electrodynamics. Basically, the alternating magnetic fields caused by the current in the metal coil gradually deposits heat onto the suspended ferromagnetic, or metal. It is a reaction that accumulates over time, as the current continues to slosh back and forth the coil and around the metal object, eventually resulting in the shiny puddle we now see. Number 9. Transmuting Pennies into Silver and Gold the art of transmutation is an ancient discipline in alchemy that teaches the transformation of metals from a lesser one to a more precious form. While alchemy was soon proven to be false, we can still demonstrate the apparent effects of transmutation, or at least how an alchemist would like it to be. Watch closely as an unassuming copper coin gradually turns into silver within a heated mixture. We then witness it transmuted once more, this time into gold, simply by heating the now silver turned coin. Today, we know this form of transmutation as electroplating. The heated mixture that you saw was a combination of water, zinc sulfate, and zinc metal strips. Zinc ions bonded onto the surface of the copper coin during this process, giving it a silvery look. The final gold transmutation is then made by fusing the formed zinc layer into the copper coin, essentially transforming it into brass. Number 8. The Blue Bottle Reaction Mixing and matching fluids in vials and beakers is as stereotypical as any chemistry trick can get, but this one is indeed rather amazing, because the trick, once taken to its necessary steps, actually completes on its own, many, many times over. The blue bottle trick, as it is seen here, takes the form of a blue liquid within a clear container. As time goes by, the blue liquid gradually turns clear and transparent, with no apparent signs of being tampered with. Give it a shake or two, however, and it returns to its original blue color. This trick is technically identified as an oscillating reaction. It starts with a mix of glucose, potassium hydroxide, and methylene blue. By default, stirring in all the ingredients gives it a blue color as it oxidizes with the air. As time passes, however, the glucose and potassium hydroxide reduces the mixture to its pre-changed state, removing the oxygen from the mixture. Reintroducing oxygen to the mix is as simple as shaking the container, returning it into its bluish appearance. Number 7. Bending Light Using Water Common sense tells us that light isn't typically tangible enough to be held and bent around, but we've already known several ways to circumvent this idea. One of the simpler and neat tricks you can come up with is in the form of this tiny flowing water through a bottle. First, fill up the bottle, then punch a hole somewhere at the level of the water. Lastly, shine a laser pen through the water that directly points towards the hole. For best effect, turn off all other lights. If done correctly, you'll be able to bend light directly where the water is flowing out of the hole. What you have just witnessed is something called total internal reflection. The laser beam reached its critical angle within the flowing water. Since the space within the streaming flow is limited, the light continues to bounce around inside the water, following its direction and allowing it to bend away from its original straight path. Optic fibers today benefit from this very phenomenon, all thanks to this nifty little light bending trick. Number 6. The Magnus Effect Wings are an essential part of any airplane. Even helicopters follow this rule, only it spins around its rotor instead of being attached to the sides. But what if I tell you that flight is still possible even with just some thick wheels turning around? Try something like this. Place a pencil near an edge on a flat surface. Place your finger on top of it and then try to spin it while propelling it forward. If done correctly, you will see the pencil fly off upwards in a peculiar curving path seemingly defying gravity for a few brief moments before it falls down. Enter the Magnus Effect, where spinning objects mimic the aerodynamic properties of wings simply by, well, spinning. You see, a spinning round object also creates a pressure difference in its cross-sectional areas, much in the same way as fast-moving air above a wing creates lift. As a result, 
The lower pressure generated guides the object away from the higher pressure side, creating movement, and allowing the object to levitate. As a matter of fact, the Magnus effect can even be used to build planes out of strangely configured tapered cylinders, though it looked nothing like your average delivery drone. Number 5. Floating Screwdriver Now for some workshop-related party tricks. The floating screwdriver trick isn't exactly new, and at a glance, probably doesn't even look as astonishing compared to the other entries in this list. What you need is a compressed air blower and a screwdriver. Place the screwdriver at a slightly tilted forward angle above the blower as demonstrated. Make sure that it feels completely weightless in your hand. After adjusting, you then proceed to slowly let go, and voila, a screwdriver floating in midair. While a simple the air pushes it explanation might work, the actual intricacies of it are quite complicated. Remember the Magnus effect earlier? The same principle actually works for this trick. The handle smoothly redirects the jet of air thanks to its curved edge, in much the same manner as how the rounded shapes of pencils and other objects does when the object itself moves through air. A centralized low pressure area behind the handle is created, which then counteracts gravity for the trick. Number 4. Make a liquid pour by itself If you find all the previous setups too bothersome, then try this very easy trick demonstrated by the Action Lab YouTube channel. All you need is an ample amount of polyethylene glycol, as well as a container for it. Tilt the holding container filled with it as demonstrated here. Do it in a way that a tiny amount of it flows downward. Now watch your audiences be amazed at how it seemingly defies gravity by flowing all the way downward with very little input. No setups, no preparations, and no fluid. Polyethylene glycol, as it turns out, is a liquid that builds with long chains of tangled molecules. It has a molecular weight that makes it more than 50,000 times denser and thicker than water. It will essentially pour itself all the way over until it runs any container dry. Number 3. The Fire Hands Trick Okay, now on to something even more dazzling. This next trick involves soap, water, and any type of flammable gas such as butane that can be delivered into the mixture. The instructions are very simple. Simply mix soap and water, form some nice bubbles above, and then introduce the flammable gas into the water so that it forms its own bubbles. Lighting fire on your hands is just as simple as scooping a nice amount of these bubbles and directly setting them off. Amazingly, the phenomenon is superbly simple. Your wet hands simply act as a barrier, protecting you from the burning gas. Since the gas would most likely burn off before it could even affect the water in any manner, the performer is relatively safe from harm. Add some nice slow-mo effects, and you've got yourself a new and cool superpower. Number 2. Dowsing Candles Like a Psychic If you ever need to put out fires like the one lit for the previous trick, then a good related trick is to put them all out using nothing but pouring a mystical force, and some well-made carbon dioxide. The easiest way to do this is to find a nice chemical reaction that would produce the gas, such as mixing vinegar and bicarbonate of soda. If that's not possible, then you could simply melt dry ice in a container. Don't worry about the gas leaking out, because carbon dioxide will actually stay in the container due to it being denser than air. Now all you have to do is pour carbon dioxide onto a lit candle. Voila! Candle doused without even so much as touching its wick. The explanation of this is very simple. By pouring the heavier carbon dioxide onto the candle, you rob it of its ability to use oxygen in a burning chemical reaction. This is exactly how fire extinguishers work, only without the flair of our own science magic trick. Before I reveal the number one spot, I'd like to remind you to subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. We upload amazing fact-filled list videos daily. Also, make sure to click that bell icon to stay updated, or you'll regret missing out on some amazing knowledge that could have filled your brain. Now let's get back to it. Number one, the Pharaoh's Serpent. Long ago, in the distant and ancient land of Egypt, there was one legendary feat of sorcery that was told and handed down through the generations. The Pharaoh's Serpent, as it is called, summons an otherworldly snake that seemingly rises out of nowhere. The practitioner, in this case you, burns a mysterious white powder, and it completes the calling ritual all on its own. Today, we know it as a simple chemical reaction made when mercury thiocyanate is ignited. But instead of dealing with poisonous materials, you can also make the reaction from burning calcium gluconate. Burning it sets off an exothermic reaction that produces a coiling mass of solid stuff, hence its description as a snake. Are you familiar with any of these? Or have you actually already tried some of them to impress your friends? Let me know in the comments section down below. 
Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop it a like and more will be made. Thanks for watching.